Oh, you guys have segments. Yeah. This is good cop, bad cop, Rich. This is, um, we've had a nice back and forth until now. I didn't expect the um, ceremony. But what we usually do now, we go from a nice, polite kind of podcast to an interrogation. So this are you went ready from for, interview to interrogation. You ready so for the interrogation? Oh, this am I bad. the one who's getting interrogated? Yeah, this I is bad I, cop, I, bad oh. cop. I think you know why you're here. This oh, is good. bad cop, bad cop. Go ahead. Okay. Let's Rich. do this. You ready? Rich. Can I have a new piece of gum? Sure. Try to make yourself comfortable. Yeah, make a phone call. Make sure... No phone calls yet. Sorry. We got to talk to him uh, first. My my friend... My my friend's been off for a little while. So you're a bad cop, bad cop. Bad cop, bad cop. You heard what he said. Okay. (laughs) I'm just stalling. Okay. You got a piece of... (laughs) You're (laughs) farting in the studio, Rich? I'm gassy. Every time I do a bar yeah, mitzvah, you get a little get... nervous. When you lie, you get a little nervous. How do you know that? Yeah, how do I know that? <laughs> You'll see how I know that. Okay. Bad cop, bad cop. Here we Let's go. Let's go. Rich. Yes. Your name is Rich Voss. One S. Do some people call you Dick Voss, and are those people audience members that have seen your act? Uh, no one calls me Dick Voss. One time somebody called me Richie, and that threw me for a fucking loop. But I don't get Dick Voss that much because after my act, all they do is praise me. Go ahead, next. We, we'll control the tempo of the questioning. Okay. He is Jewish. Yeah. Pushy. Rich. That's me. You're a legend. You've been doing comedy for a long time. 34 years. Do you miss vaudeville? Vaudeville. Any ambition to be in the picture show? What my, or what our fans would call the movies? To tell you the truth, yes, I do miss vaudeville back in the days when we used to stay and stay behind the stage in a room and I'd have my daughter with me and my suitcase and we'd travel from place to place. I miss those days and I miss the big screen and I can't wait to get back on it. Yes, mm. I do miss it. Thank you for Next asking. Next question. Uh, Rich. But, you've been sober for years. 32. What cocktail of pills does your wife have to take to get through a day with you? That's right. My wife. What's Bonnie on? What's Bonnie on? Yeah, she's on these pills called low self-esteem pills, <laughs> or and she she mixes those with codependent pills. And I hate my parents' pills. Did she marry you to stay in the country? Just be honest with us. She's, she's a very, Canadian. She's, she's a rogue woman. Canadian. She's a beautiful. Well, but rogue here's Canadian. the deal. I think that was her first motive. Mm. But then after she realized how good I am as a husband, she right. said, "You know, cause she could have been gone already a long time ago." Right. Right. But after, you know, she got pregnant, go after ahead, she got it. pregnant mm-hmm. and, you know, saw what a great lifestyle I lead in New Jersey in my condo an hour from the city. She said, who could pass this up? There's a pool at my condo. We, and we have a washer and a dryer in the wow. unit, in my own unit. I have my own washer and dryer. And she grew up on dirt floors on a farm. So, she didn't have a washer and so, dryer. No, this is fucking Lotto. OK, she, she grew up killing chickens so right. Keith could eat. I got it. Which is uh, your closer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Justin, yours. Rich. Yes, sir. Your youngest daughter is amazing. Thank you. You raised her in comedy clubs. How do you discipline her? With improvs and act outs? Instead of saying, go to your room, do you say, go to the green room? We say to her, we give her, uh, we give her a, uh, a place. Mm. We give her, what are the three things you do in improv? We give her... A place, a time? A t- uh, and a situation. Right. Oh. And we make her improv. I thought it was like a really, talent, a ta- really talented black gay guy. Isn't that what you need to make an improv show work? <laughs> Something. Isn't it? No, it's improv. <clears throat> we don't do that because improv shows. Wayne Brady? Well, improv shows are just sketches that they do every week and pretend they're improv. What we do to discipline our daughter right, right. is we bought one of those for the dog. You know those crates? The crates, yeah. The crates. And... We we sometimes we don't put her in the crate, but we make her sit next to it and go, keep fucking up. You're going into the crate. Does she ever go in the crate? No, we wouldn't do that. We're good parents. All right. Kids in cages, huh? That's I would right never of, do that. That's right out of the headlines. You're a monster. No, how we how we really punish my daughter? How? We sit her down, and talk, and say that you're doing the wrong thing. Mm. You're doing the wrong thing. And in this world, in this society, we're all about doing the right thing. And we forgive you, we love you, and God loves you. Peaceful parenting. Yes, we love you. We yeah, love you no matter what. We don't judge you. You made a mistake. Try not to do it again. But you know what? Maybe she doesn't think it's a mistake. 
when she gets to those teen years, she's going to have a Miley Cyrus face. She's going to have a Miley Cyrus face. Where she's going to not want to wear a bra and put a coat, cut a hole in the nipple area of the T-shirt. She's going to stick do? her tongue out at her I'm parents. I'm going to tell her, listen. You're going to sew her fucking head to the car for no, you. No, I'm going to say to her, look, it. if you want to do that, you're going to have to buy your own T-shirts because if you want to, uh, you know, cut holes in, in clothing, then you'll see that money doesn't grow on trees and you'll have to buy your own clothing. You know, and then if she, she will buy it, it and then sell it and make a million dollars. She's such a good Jewish girl. Oh, she's saying hey, we're raising her right. <laughs> you... Mike, your question. Rich, when your daughter asks for money, do you mail her a check that doesn't get there for three weeks, then bounces like a comedy club owner? Uh, we, my older daughter, you're talking about. No, your daughter now, when she asks you for money. Do can I, I have $5? Can I have this? Can I uh, have that? What, what I do... You know with, how women are. You know how women are, man. Yeah. Well, what I do to her, if she says, can I have $5? I go, uh, the value of money, you're going to have to do something to earn the $5. So right. I have her write me a couple of jokes. I give her a dollar a bit. She's very funny. Yeah, so I have her write me material. And then, you know, I, I give it to her. But... I wait till she falls asleep and I take it back out of her bank. Oh, you steal from your own daughter? Yes. It's, he cool. gave her the money in the first place. Yes. I wouldn't call it stealing. Wow. Because <clears throat> she's not really good at counting. Not yet. Not yet. Go ahead, Justin. Rich. We know you can bomb as a comic. Can you bomb as a father? Can you be so bad as a husband and a father that you walk your whole family? Can I talk? Yes. Okay. Listen to me. Okay, listen to me. This fucking bullshit. First of all, I don't bomb as a comic. You've never seen me fail. I'm a no-fail act. I've never seen you fail. I don't fail. No. Okay, I don't fail. I Fuck the, I don't need these dumb... I'll put them back on when the, you don't when the music goes. When it goes, duh. Here, so let me explain something to you. I don't fail as a comic. Don't. And I don't fail as a father. I raised two older daughters. Okay, one does live with... Uh, One's getting married next year. I'm right. proud of my older daughters. I have the best daughters on the planet. You do. I don't fail as a father. I don't fail as a comic. Uh, I don't fail as a husband. No. Uh, I fail with my SHs and my CHs. <laughs> <laughs> That's Speech the fails. That's Come on, the give him an air horn on that one. <laughs> That's the only thing I fail on. Give him a, give him a mazel mazel on that. Give him a mazel mazel. Good thing. He crushed it. Mike, your question. Rich. Final question. With so much tragedy in the world, you've decided to play golf. What's your favorite part of playing golf at a country club? Is it having someone carry your clubs or being asked to leave because you're Jewish? <laughs> well, Has anyone asked you to leave because you're Jewish? Is that still a thing for our people? It's our people now. It's well, our people. There I'm is a us. lot of anti-Semitic golf courses. Is right. there really? Oh yeah, there's in New there. York City? No, not there's no golf courses. in No, New but York there's City. a Staten oh. Island. There's there's right. ones in the New York surrounding area. Yeah. In the boroughs, in the five boroughs, uh, Long Island. There's some, but they high, you know they'll get one Jew, one black person. What to do the one, books? You know, <laughs> that <was fun. laughs> that's good. That's not bad. You guys, uh, my favorite part of playing golf mm -hmm. is the five hours of not thinking about the business I'm in. Really, and 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 just out there enjoying the beautiful scenery and the nature. Because you could tell I'm into nature. Does it help distract uh, you? Does it really? Should I, I do it? Yeah, I, I, more than Klonopin. Nothing's better than Klonopin. When you that's what I'm no, saying. No, no, it distracts <clears throat> me. I listen. I'm supposed to be funny. I'm a comic, and I suck. Just first of all, you're springing this fly by night. No, you're doing fat. Why did you do that? You're doing fat. We've never oh. had a witness beat We've himself up like no this. No one does it. I don't care. Rich. I don't care. I'm the biggest fucking act you'll get, and I stink. You're doing great. Why I'm, do you think you stink? I, I, no I, I one's going to sit here and go, yeah, you do stink because you think, hey, maybe I can middle for him down the road. I stink. <laughs> okay. I know when I stink. No. I know when mm. I stink. I'm gassy. I fucking got, I don't know what's going on with my stomach. I, I think we have set rich. You know, here I said you didn't, not at all. I ate a fucking pizza for a dollar around the corner, and I Your think it's killing me. Your sandwich is here. Your sandwich, did oh, you really sandwich? did get his. Yeah, we got you the You're sandwich. You're going to blame it on that? No, you know what? You say the that pizza's is anti Semitic now? Uh, the one around the corner for a buck. Never get a dollar pizza. I'll give you diarrhea. No, no, no. You got to spend at least 250 Yeah. But Let's, isn't that the thing? You guys talk them down? 
to a dollar? What do you mean you? You talk them down. <laughs> yeah, we, we, uh, our people, we, we, we talk them we. down. Here, Let's, Rich, here's your Jewish sandwich that we ordered you from the oh, deli. Oh, that's fabulous. Let's end the segment. That's it for Good Cop, Bad Cop. Bonnie did better, huh? No. She didn't? No. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs>